The internet provides us with really remarkable opportunities to connect, to interact, to share, to help one another. But why? Why do it? In particular, why do people volunteer so much time and effort to help other people, to provide information resources? We live in a world that is not perfectly altruistic. Yes, people do good things, but that's not the way the world works all the time. In fact, much of the time. So one of the things that my research group has been working on for the past several years is trying to understand what motivates people to give, to create, to share information on the internet for free, to volunteer it, to help other people. How can we get them to be more altruistic, to give more? And when do we have to give them other incentives? How can we get them to care about the quality of the information? And how do we convince people to avoid the temptation to vandalize or spam other people's information resources? So the internet has all of this information available, all of this support. People are answering questions, people are sharing. How do you benefit? Well, suppose that you are newly diagnosed with a chronic health condition. Let's say diabetes, one of the most common health conditions facing society. You go home, you have questions, you can look them up. But of course, with health information, how do you know what's true? What can you believe? The ability for people to get together and share and support each other and provide information outside of the health clinic to provide information that somehow is credible, that's reliable, that has high quality, is an opportunity we didn't have before. Now we have the opportunity, but we have to find ways to make that happen so that people can trust it and so that people are willing to share and support each other.